I really hope this is coming out in focus. Now I'm going to introduce the concept of supermesh. So if there are two meshes, oh these are all resistors, I realize the drawing is terrible. This is a 10 volt power supply, this is the plus side and the minus side. Now I'm going to define three meshes. I'm going to call this mesh 1, mesh 2, and mesh 3. And then the second step is to simplify when their current supplies. So in this case, there is a current supply, but it's not on an outside mesh. So all these outside um, branches are resistors or voltage supplies, but this one here is connecting two meshes, L2 and L3. So this defines a super mesh. And what happens is that we don't need to consider this in our analysis, the 6K, and I'm going to worry about this as the super mesh. Just like in super nodes, I'm going to write the super mesh equation by looking at the connection between the third and the second meshes. So I see that the third is going the same direction as the 5 milli. So I'm going to call the current 3 minus the current 2 equal to the 5 milliamps that's connecting the two of them. And then I'm not going to consider this when I do my KVL. I'm going to do KVL around it. Actually, KVL does not usually include a current at all. So KVL is uh, only voltages. This circuit has two equations. One for KVL on one, on loop one. In the second, it will be KVO on the super mesh, which is L2, L3. So I am expecting two equations. And later you can write L2 as a function, or I3 as a function of I2, and therefore you'd have only two variables. So let's start with the first. I'm going to start here and write minus 10 plus 2K. This 2K, watch, is I1 minus I3 plus this 2K here is I1 minus I2 now I'm going to write the KVL for the super mesh I'm still going to go around here it's going to be 4K times I2 plus 2K times I2 minus I1 plus, and then I go here. So, so I'm following this blue line here, I2, uh, I'm sorry, 2K, I3 minus I1 plus 8K I3 equals zero. So these are the two equations for KVL. You can say that these are three, if, if you want to use this as a third equation, you can, to, to solve, and here it comes math magic, and then you find that I1, I hope I have the right, oh, I1 is 2.5 milliamps, I2 is minus 2.5 milli. And I3 is 2.5. I'm just not going to do this here because it's going to take two of these boards um, to solve that. I think. I'm going to try. No, I'm not going to try.